What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving away three free swing trading algorithms. These algorithms have been back tested and optimized to be hypothetically profitable over the current year. I have one algorithm that's gonna be trading the SPY, the S&P 500 ETF, one algorithm for Tesla, and one algorithm for Walmart. All of these different algorithms trade on different timeframes, and obviously SPY, Tesla, and Walmart are somewhat not correlated, so you're getting a little bit of diversification with these algorithms. I'm gonna be starting off with a deep dive in terms of how the algorithms works, when it buys, when it sells, and what indicators it's using. I'm gonna be going over the backtest results to see are they profitable, and they basically they are, and doing some metrics with those backtest results. And then if you hang tight to the end of the video, I'm actually gonna be giving away these three algorithms for free. So if you hang to the end of the video, I'll show you how to get those and get them set up um, with NinjaTrader or other brokerages as well. So hope you guys find value in this video and let's get started with the first algorithm. Okay, so let's look at the first algorithm. This algorithm runs on the SPY, SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETF. It trades on 30 minute candles. And basically how this algorithm works is it uses the relative vigor index um, and buys when the value of that indicator, the relative vigor index, crosses above 0.2. It has a 2% profit target and a 1% stop loss. So here we can see on the chart uh, of it trading SPY and kind of how it works. Once again, it's on 30 minute candles using this indicator, right? And you can see when it uh, crosses above negative 0.2, um, it usually buys and has a 2% profit target and a 1% stop loss. Okay. So let's take a look at the results from the actual back test. So this back test was ran from January 1st, um, 2020 of this year to today, November 21st, 2020. It had a 52% win rate for each trade. Um, the average winning trade was $619 in profit and the average losing trade was $329 uh, of loss, okay? Um, this is trading, you know, hypothetically 100 shares. So overall it returned 7,324 and we had a slippage of three ticks per trade, okay? So one common, um, one common metric I like to look at is expectancy, how much you can expect to make per trade. And it's saying on average you have a $166 um, expectancy, meaning every trade on average, you'll make $166 of profit if you were to trade hundred shares. So overall, this is, um, so far a really good strategy. I would be immediately running this live in my paper trading or SIM account, at least for a month to see how well it would do. Um, and it looks like you have a 1.88 average win to loss ratio. So definitely odds are your, are in your favor. Um, but yeah, once again, this is a great strategy. This is the spy trading on 30 minute candles. Um, using the relative vigor index with a 2% take profit and a 1% 1 uh, stop loss, okay? Let's move on to the next one. So the next one is uh, the fan favorite, a Tesla uh, algorithm. And once again, this is ran from January 1st, 2020 to this year. Um, and this one uses 60 minute candles. So it's a different time frame, right? Like I said previously, the SPY strategy, which was totally different, uses 30 minute. This uses 60 minute candles. All right, so here's the chart. You can see it's a lot more complicated than the SPY strategy, but how this one works is it uses actually a bunch of indicators. And I know I've said in the past that more indicators doesn't mean more profit, but it's still uh, possible. And in this case, you will see. So it uses four indicators. It uses Bollinger Bands, Keltner Channels, OBV, and a linear regression slope, okay? The entry is, it compares the Bollinger Band value to the Keltner Channel. And if it's above a certain ratio, it will buy. And then the exit is using the OBV uh, when that's a certain value, when it crosses below a certain value, it will sell. Okay. So it doesn't have a profit target and stop loss in the sense that it's not a percentage base. It's all based on indicators. Okay. Um, and once again, if you hang tight to the end of the video, I'll be showing you how you can get these uh, algorithms for free and you'll be able to see the source code and how they work on a deeper uh, level. Okay. So here's the chart for Tesla. Let's take a look back at the results. Um, once again, this is assuming you're trading hundred shares. Um, so it would have returned uh, $45,000 in profit, um, assuming you have zero commissions as well, uh, which most of you do. Um, and then we have three ticks of slippage per trade. Okay. So overall it only made eight trades 
uh, I believe spy was the spy strategy previously was a lot more so it's not trading very often it's about making one trade every month and a half um, it has a 75% win ratio um, overall on average you can expect to make five thousand six hundred dollars uh, in profit if you're trading 100 shares once again if you're trading 10 shares you would just divide this by 10 um, and you could see the average winning trade was over seven thousand dollars and the average losing trade was just a thousand dollars so you have a 7.44 average win to loss ratio so um great strategy to have you know the odds are in your favor for sure once again i would be running this strategy in my sim or paper trading account and evaluating it over the period of at least a month to see if it would be profitable and if it would you know definitely it's something you could look at uh, adding to your portfolio okay um, once again, this was ran from January 1st of this year to today, November 21st, 2020, and it use, uses 60 minute candles. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the strategy. Okay. Um, here is the uh, equity chart for this year. If you ran it, um, I'll go back to the spy one because you probably want to see that. Let's go. Here we go. So that there was the spy strategy. This was this is the previous strategy. You can see it had quite a drawdown for a bit, and then it started to ramp up, obviously. Um, and then this is the current, the Tesla one. Okay, so that's the second algorithm. This is the Tesla strategy. Now the third and last algorithm. This one trades Walmart stock. Um, so let's take a look at the chart and how this works. So how this strategy works is much simpler than the Tesla strategy that you saw before. It's using the simple moving average indicator on a 14 period um, and it's looking for it to cross above zero and the it also enters short um, and it's looking, it's looking for, for a bearish harami cross uh, candlestick pattern and we can actually take a look at that what that looks like just to give you a sense uh, let's pull up a here we go so where you have a candle with a lot of price action and then you're looking at you know kind of a doji candle right after that so that's a bearish harami cross if that happens it enters short so let's look at some of the trades here um and this trades on 15 minutes so once again you can see all these strategies trade on different time frames right to maximize um you know to reduce the correlation as much as possible so spy was on 30 uh, tesla was on 60 walmart's on 15. Um, so anytime for this strategy, it goes long if the SMA crosses above zero. Or sorry, it goes long if the close price crosses above the SMA. Okay, so you can see here where it bought, it probably just barely crossed the SMA and went to go buy. Um, and then there's another one where it crosses above the SMA. Actually, these are three are, are bad long trades, obviously. Um, let's take a look at some more previous trades here. Uh, so that was a, this was a good example where it crossed above, right? And you had some more. And then we have a profit target of 3% and a stop loss of 1.5%. Um, so two to one on that. I do want to see uh, some of the short trades. Here we go, so short. Doesn't short often, but it does once in a while. And that actually shorted twice this year. So let's go back to February 2nd. Um, so I can show you. It doesn't enter short often. I would say 90% of the time it's going, going long, but there is some scenarios where it does short. So I'm just trying to find one with the bearish. Here we go. So let's zoom in here for you guys. So we have a bearish Harami. I can't even say it right. Bearish Harami cross. And if I'm saying this wrong, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but you can see that it's highlighted these two candles here um, and said, hey, this is a bearish Harami cross. It goes short. Um, and it's actually able to uh, close this position and take a profit, okay? But it's not shorting often. It, it's more often than not going long. So let's take at the results. So if you're trading 100 shares um, of Walmart, you would have made... Uh, just over $2,000, uh, 2,291 um, after three ticks of slippage and assuming you have zero commissions, you have a 45% win rate and your average winning trade is $297 in profit. Your average losing trade is 163 in losses. 
overall on average you can expect to make 47 dollars of profit per trade and you have a 1.82 uh, win to loss ratio so it's not terrible um, the largest winning trade was 518 dollars in profit and the largest losing trade was 269 so the winners are bigger than the losers yes the win rate is below 50 percent but you know it's still a decent win rate at least you're in the the mid 40s on that one so this is for walmart and once again this is trading 15 minute candles so once again um you're getting that you know diversification right three different symbols um you know tesla is technically a part of the s p 500 now so spy and tesla they somewhat correlate but still you know tesla could have news or earnings that will you know have different price ranges and they're on different time frames and then we have walmart as well which is in a totally different sector you know walmart being in retail and i guess e-commerce and tesla being uh, an automobile manufacturer so you're getting a lot of um, diversification on that front okay so here are the three strategies now this is the part of the video you've been waiting for how do you get your hands on these strategies so in the description below there is a link to my newsletter um, where i post free content in terms of coding and, and algorithms um, and just you know anything that i learn i like to post on uh, on my newsletter okay i'm not spamming you guys i send it maybe once a week but if you join that newsletter below uh, the first email you'll get is the source code to these three algorithms you'll get the ninja trader c sharp source code as well as the template that will save the bar size um, and and some of the back test results now if you don't use ninja trader or you don't want to use ninja trader and maybe you want to use a different platform like alpaca or metatrader or maybe thinkorswim um, you'll be able to see that source code and if you're a coder or developer you can kind of translate the code uh, that i've sent the code that i have only works on ninja trader right now it is in c sharp so if you are familiar with c sharp language you'll be able to translate it a bit but it only works with ninja trader and um, if you're a coder or developer you will be able to translate it obviously uh just maybe another language like python and get it working with alpaca um, if you're not a coder and you want to take that code and maybe put it to td ameritrade or alpaca or Robinhood, whatever it may be um, I can help with that. I do uh, custom software solutions for my clients. So if you're looking for it to do that, um, I can help you with that as well. Just send me an email, jake at wetradehq.com, um, and we, I can help you with that. But as soon as you join that newsletter, the first email you're going to get is the source code for all these three algorithms um, and how to set that up. Okay. So that's all you got to do to join. Pretty simple and easy. Um, and then if you want to leave the newsletter after, you can if you want. But I only send usually one email a week or I think right now I'm sending one email a month with that. Um, but that's how you get the, the algorithms. Once again, I think this um, will help you kind of set up your portfolio. You're getting some diversification, which is great. Um, but um, yeah, that's, that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and found value in these three algorithms. Leave a comment below on if you want to use these algorithms, if you're not going to use them, um, if you, you know, want to look at other indicators, other back tests. But I wanted to kind of give back to you guys because uh, without you guys, I would not be here. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found value. Have a good weekend, everyone. And we'll see you next week. Peace.